a KQED television production. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna. Great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers available at walmartlabs.com. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has over 250 types of natural stone choices in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. We have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, program manager Kim Knox is a Bay Area native who likes to start the day right. The first meal of the day is the one that counts, and she fills up with a breakfast made with love. Compliance director Phil Jerome brokers a deal or two at the office. Dinner, though, is non-negotiable. It must be stylish, inviting, and unpretentious. Oh, and the food has to be top-notch. But first, high school activities director Larry Lopez keeps busy organizing pep rallies, dances, and events. And when he wants to pep up his life, he adds a little Korean barbecue heat at this hidden gem in Santa Clara. It's called Tobang Korean Barbecue. This way. Our owner, her major is nutrition, and she started this restaurant because of that. She wanted to serve healthy food for all the customers that she loves. My name is Jiyoung Kim. I'm owner of a Tobang restaurant. My grandma is a good cook. I learn from my mom and the grandma. I can taste, and I know, oh, this is pretty good or not. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a server here at Tobang. Tobang is just a Korean barbecue restaurant. We serve meat. We have bottomless side dishes, so you know if you want some more, you can always ask for more. We serve two types of kimchi, one made with cabbage and other pickled radish, and both of them are less spicy than usual, just so customers can enjoy them. The name Tobang, it's like a mud house. It's like natural, comfortable. The boss is very nice, generous, so we get unlimited supply of meat. So if you want to eat, you just come in, eat with your coworkers. Uh, we're all like a family here. We have good chemistry. I believe you know having good coworkers is a good foundation of a restaurant. I'm very happy about like a family coming and enjoy life and enjoy dinner. Enjoy. All right, Korean barbecue, what is it that draws you? That heat, that kick? So my partner is Korean and actually got me my foot in the door. And I was just amazed at how much food you get mm -hmm. and just all the little side dishes. And it's literally like the yeah. nonstop smorgasbord yeah. of Korean food. And never experiencing Korean food, it was a delight. You go in there and you've got the chopche, which is sort of the cellophane noodles, the sweet potato mm. noodles. Mm -hmm. And it's so delicious. It's extra pepper, lots of vegetables. And then there was fish cakes, which mm. were a little spicy. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't sure because I'm kind of nervous about the fish and cake in the same sentence, <laughs> unless There's it's a song. Cake. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, crab it's cake, but uh, that's cake. true. And it was spicy, and it just melted in your mouth. I literally had like three helpings of it before mm -hmm. they're like, okay, there's more food coming. <laughs> and I see Kim shaking her head. 
Do the fish and the cake make sense to you? Yeah, it does you? now. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's brought to the table in a um, in a round sort of serving dish. It has a little crisp to it, which I like. And just the right <laughs> amount of heat. But like, just the right, just amount, the right amount, of amount of heat, yeah, heat. yeah. It was really good. The too cake, shady. I'll tell you, the best thing about the cake for me was that it was warm and yeah. it was waiting mm -hmm. right when we got to the table. Yeah. We had kind oh. of a cold wait. Uh, you are in the waiting, easy. In the, waiting, you are easy. <laughs> in the waiting area. So it was really <laughs> nice to have that, you know, warm cake and hot tea yeah. waiting for us. Uh, I have to say, I found it to be a little bit greasy. Uh, I didn't mm. really taste much spice. I thought the flavor was a little bit flat. And, and then where did you go from there? So we ordered the combo, which I think mm -hmm. is the big thing to get mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. right? And that's yeah, where they that's come good. over and they just continue to bring you yeah. food, as you yeah. said. I yeah. mean, it's kind of yeah. furious, gluttonous eating, right? Yeah. I mean, they're just bringing you food all night long. Different meats, and, you know, they cook the meats at the griddle right there yeah. on your table, and they're mm. just slapping and meets down big slabs of what looks like bacon and and so I you know that that was really fun um, I thought that was you know it was an experience uh, yeah. I'll say for Definitely me experience. some of the stuff that they cooked at the table the, the flavor was a little bit flat I didn't really taste much spice I think you're supposed to eat, really use the dipping sauce going that with, they give you there you know not to say going with a Korean is how you do it but since Paul's Korean, it was easier to yeah, get the helpful. instructions yeah. of you're mm -hmm. supposed to use For this sure. dipping sauce yep. with the meat. I agree. And so only going there multiple times, I found the thinly sliced beef is what I absolutely yeah. love because it, it's weird. extra crispy and we sometimes like they take it off but we secretly put it back on <laughs> yeah. and we grill it up just a little more because we yeah. like it a little extra crispy yeah. but that layered with some of the lettuce and then wrapped mm. in the rice paper and there's different ways of eating it and I think that was the difficult thing is not knowing that and then actually having someone there to like coach you and say well this is kind of how you do but it. Right. The servers were great. Give you oh he was just great. The service right. I must say this I was impressed with the service. Oh. Our server came over and he just walked us through okay get this do you like that you know do you like he he was great. My yeah, favorite is the owner who's literally like, she's moving a mile a minute, she's throwing things out, she's talking to everybody, yeah. and it's just like, it's everything's Service on point. Was great. Mm -hmm. We had the combo also, and it was so much food. It just, the food oh, just girl. keeps coming. Girl, <laughs> it's like I a know. buffet that you sit girl. down. It's a sit down buffet. But our meat was actually cooked in the kitchen, so it wasn't flat, and the chicken was just grilled perfectly. You taste the grill and a little teriyaki. Right. And then the marinated steak came. It's like little small pieces of steak that you can actually eat almost like a finger food. Mm -hmm. So we never used the lettuce or anything because again, we just trying everything for ourselves. Just perfect, delicious. We had that too. The bulgogi it was, it was cooked in the kitchen yeah. and it was, that did have good That flavor, was really so. good. Did you guys have the seafood pancake? I had that Tried too, that was pancake. good too. Yeah, so the seafood pancake, it's this pancake with calamari and different types of fish and shrimp in it that's grilled to perfection. Mm -hmm. And it's brought out for your table to share and it's really great with the soy sauce dipping. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most crispiest seafood pancakes I've had in uh, Korean barbecue cuisine. And you had a beer with it? Well, yes, you have to have beer when you're <laughs> Korean barbecue. And shame if you don't. Shame, uh -oh. shame, shame if you don't. But they also have sake. They have, you know, an assortment of sodas and stuff. Tell me about the soup. The soup, we had the kimchi soup. It's kind of almost like a sweet and sour soup with a tomato base um, and also a little spice. It was really good. It had a few vegetables in it and it had a meat in it. I think it was pork, but it was really good. It was nice and hot and really flavorful. We also had the kimchi fried rice and I don't know if you guys I got to try that. One. Yeah, so that to me was the highlight of the meal. Other, oh, okay. than, the, other than the service, I thought, yeah, the kimchi fried rice oh. was amazing. It was super tangy. It was a perfect combination, I thought, of sweetness mm -hmm. and spice. They pile on this mm -hmm. rice on this, you know, tin foil that they put on the griddle, mm -hmm. uh, and they just fry it right up right there. And they put a little smiley face on there yeah. for you when it's all done. And <laughs> I didn't that, get a that, smiley face. Oh, we got a smiley face. Yeah, we got a smiley face. You got cheated. You got a smiley face. Yeah, that, that was delicious. I mean, it was just so tangy and, and yummy. Yeah, it was, Do you yeah. feel like because there's so much food that it's good value? Is that why... Yeah, I'd say it's it's great value. Um, you know, again, I you know I wish we had some more of the items cooked from the kitchen. I, I'd say the food was probably a better value if we if we did that. But you know, mm -hmm. the, the service was outstanding, the atmosphere. Uh, so for all you know, considering all of that and everything that goes into it. Uh, for the price, yeah, I'd say it's pretty good value. All right, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. I think if you're willing to try something, go out and try Korean barbecue, and Tobang is definitely a great option for that. All right, and Phil? Fast, fun, friendly service. Uh, furious, gluttonous eating. <laughs> and Kim. Uh, and ditto. <laughs> um, if you're looking for, if you're in the Santa Clara area and looking for some Korean barbecue, to try it for the first time or you like Korean barbecue, definitely recommend it. 
All right, if you would like to try Tobang Korean Barbecue, it's located on Kylie Boulevard at Benton Street in Santa Clara. The telephone number is 408-615-7540. It's open every night for dinner. Reservations are accepted for parties of seven or more, Monday through Thursday only. And the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20. Tucked away in quaint Old Town Panole, Kim's go-to dining destination is a spot that won't break the bank. It serves three comforting meals a day, and it's called Tina's Place. All right, let's go. Oh, hi. How are you? Good, how are you doing? So this is Panole's Old Town District. Most of the businesses down here are limited to small mom and pop, and that's what makes this part of town really, really sweet. I'm Tina Holtzclaw, and I'm the owner of Tina's Place in Old Town Pennell. The name makes it personal, and that's the experience we want you to have. We didn't want you to feel like you were walking into a restaurant. I wanted you to feel like you were in my house, at my dining room table, and that I was cooking for you. Combination. Hands down, you can't beat the omelets here. They're packed with good, fresh veggies. We get a fresh produce order every morning. We get our meat in almost daily. All of our eggs are blended to order. We average about 5,000 eggs a week. Listen. All those eggs are cracked fresh. We don't pre-crack them. But the biggest, biggest thing that we use is a lot, a lot of fresh produce. I'm Justin Chambers, and I'm the chef at Tina's Place. Tina's Place to me is really is family. I've known the family for many years. This is actually my first job. I was a dishwasher and just gradually moved my way to the back. We definitely have a lot of regulars, just know their faces. So I'll see them walk in, already know what to fire, what to get ready. Portions are big and you don't leave unhappy. That's what we're doing here, we go big. All right, you're a breakfast girl. I am, I love breakfast and I think that's why I was drawn to Tina's place. It's nothing fancy, but it's good breakfast, it's good food, the prices are good, everything is made well, the staff is consistently accommodating and helpful, service is great, you have a wait on Saturdays, but who doesn't, right? I love the pancakes, they're, again, they're huge. You have to share those, but they're delicious, they're made perfect. The butter melts wonderfully. I usually have the black bean omelet, it's a three egg omelet but I usually ask just for the two eggs because it's huge. That's um, a theme yeah. here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, there you go. A lot of yeah. food. A lot of food. But what I like about their omelets is that they saute all of the ingredients first so that when the omelet comes out, it's all hot. The right. black beans are tender, the chicken is seasoned perfectly. A great go-to place for breakfast. All right. Absolutely. Mm. Larry, jump in. I started with the Bloody Mary and it was nice and spicy just the way <laughs> I like it. And mm -hmm. it's, hard to find a really good Bloody Mary. And this place had it going on. <laughs> and then we had a waffle. We were sitting at the mm. bar, so it was kind of cool. And the waffle was this pillowy waffle, and we just drenched it mm -hmm. in syrup, and mm -hmm. it was the lightest thing. Like, we inhaled yeah. that. We had the um, linguisa scramble. Oh, and yeah. And it, it was a little runny, the eggs on mm. top. That was my only mm -hmm. concern. But when you talked about the portions being huge, yeah. I mean, it was like two, yeah. two of my faces was how yeah. big the portions were. It was crazy. Hey, Phil, you're a little quiet over there. No, I would agree. The food, the food at Tina's place is great. Um, my girlfriend had the veggie omelet, and she said Sister it was, you know, said. light yep. and fluffy and mm -hmm. stuffed with fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. And she's pretty picky about her vegetables. I ordered the French toast combo, uh, which came mm, with two fried too. eggs. I had them over easy, which mm -hmm. kind of hard to mess up. But I mean, they really did it perfectly. <laughs> there was no browning of the whites whatsoever. Yep. They were cooked perfectly, and you know, the French toast was equally amazing. I mean, it was fluffy on the outside, mm -hmm. and it was creamy on the inside yeah. and you know it was vanilla cinnamon and it yep. was very subtle They're vanilla really cinnamon good. flavors not mm -hmm. overwhelming a perfect amount of sweetness you know usually at breakfast places if they give you just a little tin of syrup mm -hmm. I really don't like that because right, I want right, more syrup right. and I'm always ordering more but yeah. I didn't need any more I mean mm -hmm. the French toast was perfectly sweet on its own just a little bit of syrup and that's really all I needed so and I also love the Bloody Mary it was very forgiving for as much spice as I had so I was happy with the food I also love their home fries. They are delicious. I like my home fries to have a little bit of crisp on the potato mm -hmm. skin, and theirs do. It's just perfect with the bell peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm a potato eater, so I like my potatoes to come to the table hot. I right. like my fries hot, and, and so I think that's a mark of a good restaurant. Even though there is lunch and dinner, it's really a breakfast spot. It is. Now, I've had <coughs> lunch and dinner there. The portions are just as large. If I've gone and ordered the pork chops, and they come with, again, big mounds of vegetables, 
vegetables and potatoes, but I want to say too, just because the portions are large, it's still good food. Uh, so the service there, I think, was the only issue that I had with Tina's mm. place, and it, and it wasn't the servers. I thought the servers were, were great. They were clearly working very hard. I mean, mm -hmm. that place is, is super busy. Uh, it wasn't the wait either. I mean, you know, I think they have an app that you can yep. use that you can mm -hmm. check in mm -hmm. early so you don't have to do the wait. Mm -hmm. I think the, the one thing that Tina's could maybe work on is sort of the, their system. I think they have a new ordering system. Yep. They're all yeah. on tablets, mm -hmm. and I think you know mm -hmm. they're, they're probably going through some growing pains yeah. with that. I mean, I've gone at night, I've gone in the morning, I've gone in the afternoon, and I've never had an issue. It's very clear though, it's with been the consistent. servers themselves, were, yeah. were great. I mean, we're great. Yeah. working so just getting used to things. Yeah, I think yeah. that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, well, I think you guys need to sit at the bar because I didn't. Know <laughs> <laughs> so. You yeah, actually, at the bar. yeah, <laughs> and they do. They have a full bar. They have a full, full bar, bar. That's right? And you can sit and order anything you want. Yes, I recommend the lemon drop. The lemon drop, mm -hmm. the sexy diva, oh the bloody mary. Oh my goodness! Marys. And what about the shrimp and grits? Oh, the sh so I like grits. First of all, mm -hmm. I like my grits creamy. I like them seasoned. I like them buttery. And Tina's place does them perfectly. They do uh, cheesy grits and shrimp, mm -hmm. which are just perfect. The shrimp is perfect. It's not overcooked. Well, what else did absolutely. you have, Larry? Well, I was gonna say, Kim, we're gonna have a for intervention. Uh oh. Um, because the shrimp and grits for me uh -oh. wasn't uh -oh. that great. The shrimp was amazing. Okay. The shrimp was roasted perfectly, and I okay. loved it. The grits were just a little too congealed and um, it just didn't go down well. And then there is like bacon pieces, which bacon, I mean, you can't do bacon wrong with anything. <laughs> Everything's, be better with bacon. Everything's better with bacon. Exactly. But the bacon pieces, I mean, there was like seven pieces and then they were like sort of thrown in there and I just felt like it was kind of an afterthought. I love the idea of baking in there. It uh -huh. just kind of, these big old pieces of bacon and I was like, you know, choking a little bit on the yeah. bacon, but the shrimp itself was phenomenal. She's still your world. friend. All right, your restaurant, give us a quick summary. Yep, if you're looking for a place with good food, good company, good price, Tina's is your place. All right, and Phil? Yeah, I'd say high quality breakfast food at a very reasonable price, uh, very clean, comfortable, mm -hmm. and tasteful atmosphere. A few kinks to work out with the service. Larry? It's a little bit of a trek, but if mm -hmm. you're looking for a little charming, quaint place mm -hmm. with an amazing Bloody Mary, then this is the best place to go. All Florida. right. If you would like to try Tina's Place, it's located on San Pablo Avenue at Tenant in Pinole. The telephone number is 510-964-7546. It's open for breakfast and lunch every day, dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are accepted for parties of eight or more, not including the holidays or the weekends. And the average breakfast tab per person without drinks is around $20. My only rule in food and wine pairing is to drink what you like and eat what you like. Fish and red wine? Sure. Steak and Chardonnay? Well, not so much. One delicious duo that does work, however, is sparkling and snacks. When faced with fantastic fizz like this Italian Prosecco or California Bubbly, reach for salty nuts and chips. The lighter alcohol and refreshing quality of sparkling wine quenches your thirst and cleanses your palate. Want to reach bubbly nirvana? Drizzle truffle oil over warm popcorn, add some sea salt, and pair with a classy dry rosé. <gasps> Hashtag happy place. Cozy with a checkered floor and red pleather stools, Phil's diner-esque spot serves up crafty cocktails and regional American food with a touch of Japanese influence. In Oakland, it's called Hopscotch. Oakland is by far the best place that I've ever worked. It's so diverse and really accepting of all the fun and innovative things that we do. I'm Jenny Schwartz, beverage director and owner at Hopscotch in Oakland. When we found this space, we loved the diner aspects to it, but then really elevated the space with the marble counter. Shortly after we opened Hopscotch, we were bursting at the seams a little bit. We got a second space, just one door over, and now we have almost twice the seating here at Hopscotch. I'm Kyle Itani, chef owner at Hopscotch in Oakland. The menu at Hopscotch stems from my Japanese American upbringing. It's a lot of American diner foods like pork chops and burgers, but we have a Japanese inflection on each of the dishes. A lot of the ingredients we use are locally sourced. I get a lot of ingredients straight from Japan as well. We try and use ingredients that are at the peak of the season and also taste the best. The cocktail list is right front and center on the menu and they're definitely intended to pair with the food, not killing the palate so that you can really enjoy everything that you're eating. 
When we first opened the restaurant, the menu was very safe and was received really, really well, so we just started pushing harder and harder, and now we have a really great, complex menu. We've always had a lot of faith in our opinions. We get really technical and really geek out. When guests leave Hopscotch, I hope that they feel like they've tasted something maybe new for the first time or tasted something familiar but done exceptionally well. It is a diner-esque feel. You know, I think they're doing themselves a little disservice calling themselves a, a high-class diner. This place is higher class than that, I would say. You know, the bar is beautiful. And it's a full bar. It's yes. a full bar, and it's got an amazing selection of, you know, small batch spirits, particularly whiskeys. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, Lots of local craft beers. All their cocktails there. The thing with them is you can always taste the alcohol, mm -hmm. but it always just goes down so smooth. Yes. Uh, you know, we call them the spirit yes. forward. It's it's the spirit. Spirit. We don't call forward. them boozy. We call there them spirit forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they just all have the perfect mix. And, you know, the golden spike that I had, it was five spice and bourbon and lemon. So Aperol and it was great. Besides the drinks, yeah. what else do you like? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they're known for their fried chicken there. Right. I mean, the fried chicken is consistently moist and tender all the way through, but it has a crispy, flavorful crust that mm -hmm. still manages mm -hmm. to be light and not greasy. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of Japanese. You're, you're over, Larry's over here. <laughs> <laughs> the table, oh my God. Yes, I'm the in love. The fried chicken. I'm in love. The fried chicken was so many things. The best part is that it was nice and salty, and sometimes you have that fried chicken chicken that has no flavor and it was the perfect amount of spice and they have their own hot sauce so you just sort of mm -hmm. slather that onto the chicken and mm -hmm. it was great. And they sell it by the bucket now. The fried chicken was okay. I mean I, I eat a lot of fried chicken. I mean I wasn't real impressed with it but it was good. I wasn't mm -hmm. really impressed with it but I had the whole roasted trout which was really really mm -hmm. good. The skin, it was just perfectly crisp, with not being too cooked. Mm -hmm. On the inside, the fish was flaky and seasoned. The whole roasted trout was perfect. I highly recommend that. Not too many bones, just on the little spine part. The fennel was also cooked well. My sister loved it, but I had a side of fries, because I'm, again, uh -huh. <laughs> we all know that. We all know that, yes. Love the spud. And again, the fries came to the table hot. They were piping hot, and they're served with a little chili aioli lemon dressing. Right amount of heat, right amount of spiciness. It was perfect. Really right. good. And Love what else trout. do you eat when you go there? Well, the cocktails, like we talked about. Um, <laughs> that, yeah. is, that is yeah. a dining choice. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. They usually have a, a good tempura to start with. Uh, this mm -hmm. time around, they had the kakiyaji, which is you that know mixed, was good. mixed that vegetable was good. tempura. It's light. It's crispy, it's very savory, without right. being overly salty. Of course, I, I'd never heard of that before, so we yeah. asked the waitress what it was. So it's root vegetables that mm -hmm. are almost like shredded and then deep fried with a tempura batter. Those are really good. Yeah. We had the shrimps and greens. It was mushrooms and bok choy and different things of that nature. I found it to be a little too saucy. It was a little mm. overpowering Quit with the amount of me. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> saucy. Girl. Saucy. <laughs> Give me hot flashes over here. Um, I like the earthiness of the mushrooms and stuff, mm -hmm. but I felt like it kind of threw the rest of our dishes off because we mm. had that in the hamburger and um, we fried chicken, and I felt like oh. it was because we tried to obviously we pretty much ordered everything on the menu. <laughs> They're so. known for their tongue burger, the burger that has yeah. a little bit of tongue yeah. on it. Yeah, it was a little, um, a little tonguey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little tonguey. A little tonguey. <laughs> a little tonguey. I think I just wish that the bun didn't soak up that yeah. juice yeah. from the burger. Another but. thing right. they're known for is the yonsei oyster. It's topped with some uni and some salmon roe, and also some ponzu sauce. My girlfriend loves it. She slurps it up. She calls it yummy, creamy goodness. And they do have a sense of whimsy. The burger with the tongue is called first base because there's tongue on it. Oh, <laughs> now, all right, now, you know, oh. I know where you're trying to take this, oh. Leslie. Well, that we can talk to you about it. So don't you worry about it. <laughs> what else, Kim? I was a little disappointed because the menu was so limited. But for dessert, we had the almond mud pie. Mm -hmm. I so was, Oreo yeah. cookie brownie. Yeah. OK, yeah, yeah. so that yeah. was nice. I appreciated yeah. the thick chocolate. And Stripping then the drizzle. with caramel. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good, yeah. yeah. Well, not being I a chocolate that. person, we went for the donuts, mm -hmm. which okay. <laughs> you can't go wrong. I mean, we devoured those donuts. I wanted to take extra donuts and stuff them into my pockets okay. and enjoy <laughs> them on the way out because they were that good. Okay. Some of the best donuts I've ever had and I I never thought donuts and dessert but it was, it was good. absolutely yeah. amazing. And you felt like service was good? Yeah, I think the service overall was pretty good. I think our waiter thought he knew more about the wine than maybe he did. <laughs> but as far as the service, everything's brought out pretty quickly and yeah. there's lots of great options. So I think overall it was great and it's a really cute 
little restaurant and yeah. I love the red pleather chairs. I think mm -hmm. that's so. It's cute. Yeah, yeah. it's catchy. Yeah. Catchy. All right, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. Refined but casual dining experience, uh, serving up American classics infused with Japanese styles. All right, and Larry. Well, I think I'll go back for brunch because I want to try the uh, kimchi fried rice that they have there. But other than that, I think I'll pass from dinner unless I want cocktails. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think if you are looking to add to your uptown Oakland repertoire, this would be a place. I probably would not go back for dinner because, again, the menu was limited, but certainly for cocktails. All right. If you would like to try Hopscotch, it's located on San Pablo Avenue at 19th Street in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-788-6217. It's open for lunch on weekdays, dinner every night with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. I want to thank my lively guests on this week's show, Larry <laughs> Lopez, who cheers for his favorite spicy kimchi and grilled meats at Tobang Korean Barbecue in Santa Clara, and Kim Knox, who can't stay away from the plentiful helpings and great value of Tina's place in Pinole, and Phil Jerome, who drinks up the craft cocktails and feasts on regional American fare at Hopscotch in Oakland. We really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about, so keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash checkplease. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes on the wines we're drinking today. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has over 250 natural stone choices and over 10,000 stone slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Natural mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, open source engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers at walmartlabs.com. Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna, great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Online at safecatch.com.